The only real constant on our planet is change, and the ability to adapt to that change is the key to longevity. And that's true even for this monster. Now, Megalodon had enormous size. It also had a propensity to eat huge creatures in the ocean, pretty much anything it wanted. And it was very successful. Megalodon reigned supreme for some 15 million years, which is a lot longer than we've been on the planet. But even so, Megalodon wasn't perfect. It had a serious flaw. It couldn't adapt to changing condition. When his main food supply started dwindling and vanishing, Megalodon vanished. And it was only his smaller relatives, like the great white shark, that survived because they were eating smaller animals. But even the great white is vulnerable. It's been taken to the edge of extinction by trophy hunting. And what about its close relative, the powerful Mako? Makos tend to confine themselves to corridors, thermal corridors, where the temperature varies very little. So say global warming continues and the ocean's temperature rises, well, Makos could find themselves with nowhere to live and nothing to eat. And this is what happened to Helicoprion when a mass extinction 250 million years ago removed the goniotites on which it fed. It had become too specialized and it died out as well. But ancient sharks living in fresh water survived. It was something that was to be repeated when the dinosaurs disappeared 65 million years ago. Their freshwater relatives, the crocodiles and alligators, lived on. Well, that's the past. But what about the future? The continents will continue to move around, changing the shape and surface of the Earth. And we're causing global warming by our own activities that'll upset the atmosphere and stir up the oceans. But is there a shark that can adjust readily to changes like these? Well, let's look again at the bull shark. tough and powerful, and it'll eat anything. And more importantly, it's a master at adapting. So does this mean we've found a perfect design? Maybe we have, at least for the time being.